Hey, what's up, guys? Um, this video is for John. Um, thinking about upgrading the old dust collector, so I wanted to give you a better view of what I set up in here. Um, starts with the uh, Harbor Freight blower. You can see I added some tape because um, it wasn't really sealed up very well. Now it doesn't have a lot pull a lot of CFM as it is, um, so I wanted to make sure that. I wasn't losing uh, a lot of airflow as it was. Uh, this is a, a better bag, a low micron bag sold by Grizzly. You can see it doesn't really fit the, uh, the output, but if you torque it down, um, no dust really escapes. The staining on here is because I just recently emptied the bag for the first time. Uh, set up on a remote and uh, tied into the super duper plastic version of the uh, big dust deputy and then just sat on a uh, rubber made can that's a that's not part of it that's a boss stitch palm nailer i've never used and i gotta figure out who to send it to so if anybody wants a free pneumatic boss stitch palm nailer it's never been used and you're welcome to it send me your address and i'll send it to you um the uh ducting system this is a dust right hose from rockler um, which I like because it's very expandable. You can see it, uh, it, it shrinks down pretty good. Here, I'm going to push it down for a second. You just sit right there and look at the pretty saw stop tabletop. And I'll show you how this works. It's, it's got this connector on it um, with, the, with the handle that sort of makes it easier to, uh, to handle. Handle makes it easier to handle. That's good. Uh, but it really stretches a lot so most of the time I leave it hooked up here to the output on the table saw and then the overarm dust on the table saw is collected by the shop vac and up there on the ceiling dust collector I just have a little place where I can hook up the uh, the shop vac hose that's the new card I'm working on I post the video it's got a big muffler in the back but I run the dust collector in the shop vac at the same time when I'm ripping or doing most cuts on the table saw. Um, to get to the planer, the dust right hose actually expands enough that I can get it all the way over here. Nice video, right? Yeah. All the way over here to the center of the shop. Um, and if I took it over the tabletop, I could probably get it all the way to that wall. Um, but I usually set the planer up right here so that I have enough room to rip stock in this sort of long alleyway um, I have built into the shop. Um, it's not a very loud unit. A lot quieter than a shop vac. Once it gets going, it's really as loud as it gets. But when you couple that with a belt drive saw, it's about as loud as it's going to be. Um, now you add the shop rack on top of that, um, you got to wear hearing protection, obviously. But it's certainly plenty powerful to pull, I would say, 85% of the dust out of the out of the table saw you can see there's still some dust that makes it to the ground and I'm sure a more powerful unit or an enclosed base instead of the uh, instead of the contractor version of the table saw would do it better at catching all the dust turn that off but it does just fine um, and over four lines I wasn't planning on using any sort of built-in piping system but over here that's a trash can over here, for the planer, the bench top stationary sander, and the router table, which is currently being used as, well, just a table. Um, it was just too much of a pain in the ass unhooking and hooking it into the back of it, all of these things. So I did put one little run with a couple of blast gates tucked up here under the cabinet. And it just runs over here and I have it strapped down to this port right here. Um, 
So if I want to transition from the table saw, which is right over here, in case you don't know your way around my shop as well as I do. Collectors over here. Saw stop, left side of the shop with all these tools. If I want to transition from the table saw to any of these tools, I just unhook from the table saw right there with the handle, come over here, hook up to this side of the shop, and or if I'm using the joiner, I just hook up directly to the joiner, or if I'm using the bench top sander, I just come over here, open the blast gate for the sander, turn on the dust collector, and that's it. You want to transition to the router table, that gate gets closed, that gate gets opened, and, and you're done. So, so far I haven't had any problems with the Harbor Freight, freight Blower. The upgraded bag from Grizzly, uh, nice little upgrade. Uh, remote control works just fine. Super Dust Deputy, unbelievable. I've op I've emptied that trash can, um, I guess six times since I've set this up, and I just emptied the bag for the first time, and the only thing that was in the bag was probably it's probably like this much down at the very bottom. And it was all really fine dust, and it was all MDF. <laughs> it was like no, there was no actual sawdust in there. It was all MDF. Um, so, if you don't have enough room for a big unit, you know, with uh, with the bag or the blower and then the canister, it's just a little rolling frame made out of two by three, so that I can roll it out and still store wood behind there. stuff um, I can still get to all my wood behind there and it takes up the same amount of space with this with the cyclone and the trash can and the blower and the bag the bag when it inflates it just sticks out to one side that one unit with the blower and the canister would take up and it's it's on better casters than, than those come on and it's real easy to move around so I've seen your shop John it's not huge. Um, you may want to put in a couple of places where you have just a short run of pipe and a couple of blast gates. I mean, this this one over here is probably, I don't know, I should be a better judge of distances with uh, being a woodworker, but it's max eight feet. And this flexible run of pipe, maybe six feet. Um, and, and this little Harbor Freight blower does just fine pulling all the dust over those short distances. Um, I've never seen a degradation in performance. Um, if I can get some sawdust somewhere. I know I keep some around here. No jokes about how clean my shit is, boys. I have a big canister. I'll, sh I'll show you here. A big canister of oak flour sitting around here. And this is the same problem everybody has. You go to look for something and it's not here. Ah, well. Anyway, if you're interested, when I get some sawdust, <laughs> I'll dump some into the collector um, in the back of the rounder table or the joiner. And I'll show you how few chips actually escape. Um, with the planer and the joiner, it gets everything. The super dust deputy just eats everything. Um, and I, I tested the airflow before and after I hooked it up. There was no difference at all. And, and since the separator's been on there, I haven't had the intake um, right here. I haven't had the intake clog once, not once. Um, so anyway, if, uh, if there's anything else you want to see, just let me know and I'll shoot you another video. All right, man. Talk to you later.